Doop, 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 doop. Happy end of the world, everybody. It's Moose here from Moose Marine. And I thought I would take this opportunity to do a little walkthrough uh, of what is quite easily our flagship 795 build. Uh, this one was commissioned just before Christmas and then it's had a uh, bunch of work done since. So we'll start at the front. So the customers upgraded the trailer to a four ton trailer, hence the 70 mil ball and new chains. Moving forward, uh, there's the, the Fulton Pro Series winch, as well as a boat catch. You've got to have a boat catch. G'day, David. Hope you're doing well, mate. Uh, we've added a stainless steel kill guard. On the outside, joint efforts and credit go to Michael at Avtech and Steve from Steve's Custom Welding for a, an amazing um, boat bra system, which is all done with zips. As you can see, so extremely high quality up the front. Uh, we always roll with the Lone Star winches. You can see this one is with our signature Geno laser cut with an MMX3 anchor, a couple of stainless steel fender baskets and fenders. Moving down. This is an 8 metre Geno. This is the largest of their trailable series. I'll just stand back a little bit. So you can see in this shot some of the stainless steel work that's gone into this boat, including custom stainless steel rocket launchers, custom stainless radar mount, custom stainless steel solar panels, mat brackets, uh, custom stainless corner racks, custom stainless boarding rails, and the bait board, which I'll go into more detail later. This is all courtesy of Steve's Custom Welding. Underneath, you can see the client's choosing just some tint. Uh, you'll see the ocean LED blue uh, underwater lights, as well as the Zipwake, oops, sorry for the focus, Zipwake 300S trim system. Big fan of the Zipwake system. I've had them for quite a few years. We've done quite a lot of them on these boats. Uh, these 300Ss by the numbers should be relatively small for this size boat, but they actually work really, really well. That's, um, that's due partially to the beam being 2.8 metres, being quite wide. Uh, on the back is a Mercury V8 250 four-stroke. I'll just climb up here. On the boarding rails, a bit of teak work happening here. Um, we have courtesy lighting kind of all around the boat. You can see it's a warm light, which looks just mint at night time. A real cozy feeling with a swing out. Sorry for the echo, by the way. Swing out gate on the stainless steel uh, rod racks, corner racks. Marine carpeting in the rear cockpit. Uh, you'll see the boarding door here. That's a Genoa standard. We added a couple more stainless steel rod holders. Here's one of our uh, modified Calypso boards. This is called the Nissi board. Uh, owing to the customer's requests. Using a cup holder. This is made out of 12 millimeter HDP plastic. Little removable sections in the back. With stainless steel 316 runner drawers. This is a black drawer just because of, of uh, style. It's a recycled HDPE, all Australian made, uh, all made by us in house. Uh, the stainless steel is removable, should you ever want to have the rear bench. Uh, we modified the table, just added some cup holders. Up here, hopefully it won't blind you too much. We've got the Haller Recess Seahawk floodlights which do a really nice job of illuminating out here, as well as just looking pretty swish. Uh, you've got to love the Elderwood, so we've got a couple of the Elderwood Poseidon um, speaker cubes 
recess mounted into the hard top here. We just have modified a, um, an inspection area just to get access to mounting the radar. Down here you'll see the Marinko shore power socket as well as our Marco deck wash socket for our Marco deck wash pump. A couple more underwater lights, some custom Nissi stainless steel rod holders. I'll just go on the roof real quick. GME aerials. Uh, we've got two 80 watt panels up here, uh, all going through uh, these C uh, what call, scan strut waterproof uh, glands using Pacific DTV omnidirectional aerials with a Garmin Phantom uh, radar, just a little stainless steel 12 volt horn. Up the front, you can just see there's another Hella Seahawk light bar. Uh, Hella makes some good gear. It's not for everybody, but it's um, pretty good gear. We'll go inside. You can see we just added some carpet. Just to give it a really sort of warm, nice feeling. And inside, well, it's not as echoey for one thing. Um, you see just our rear switch panel system just for the external lights, which I'll turn off now. As well as our Victron controller so we have a onboard two kilowatt inverter battery charger and that's just a remote control for it so that's obviously being charged up from the factory at the moment there's also a solar regulator underneath to get charged up from the solar panels so there's quite a lot to keep the batteries in tip-top shape but that also gives us 240 volt so you can see there's one of our Vimar 240 volt GPOs just behind there coffee machine so all our 240 volt systems, uh, you get a bonus coffee machine, which is pretty cool. Sorry for the focusing, by the way. Running a Furion Marine TV, just it's a more weather resistant, shock proof TV, and you'll see some of the workmanship behind. We're running all heavy duty rams, inspection ports for access for cabling. Um, we have a Dometic roller blind on the roof which has a bug shade as well we have a couple of fans these are the Sirocco 2's which are just grouse they're really really quiet move a lot of air lovely fan uh, the internal Elderwood speakers which sound just amazing I wish I could explain we have also a fusion subwoofer down here and a 1600 watt 5 channel amplifier uh, over in the helm, this client has chosen to go Garmin. So, with a little bit of jimmying, we managed to get a 8410 into the dash. As long as a Fusion uh, Apollo 770 head unit, which you can just see there. That's all linked to the TV as well. And the Garmin 8410 is also linked to the Fusion. We've got a Lumar bow thruster. There's your controls for your... Um, Lonesa. Over here is our GM GX750. It's a couple of extra switches, floodlight switch for example. Uh, just a little bit of black trim we placed just to get rid of some of the glare. And down in the forward cabin, just another fan. And uh, EPUB and cushions and things. As well as the carpeting. So that's just a real quick overview at one of the more complete um, boat, boats on the market. I mean, this is, this is an ideal boat to spend time in the water in. You can fish very comfortably from this. It's quite a wide boat, obviously. Room's not an issue. This is all removable. This rear seat, sorry for the thing. And having ample storage for your rods too, both for traveling, snapper fishing, or getting them out of the way completely. Um, the only thing that's probably not on this boat is uh, an autopilot, which um, we'll have to look at doing that soon, I suppose. <laughs> so there you go. Thanks very much for watching, everybody. If you have any questions or you'd like to know uh, anything more about the, the system that we've built here, feel free to give us a call or shoot us a message on the social medias or email. Have a great day and stay safe. See you later.